que nadie es eterno. Nothing is eternal. A melancholic ballad played in Guatemala City's main cemetery. The singer tells mourners not to cry. Such songs are sung to console families who come to pay their respects to those they've lost. And they're heard more often these days for victims of Guatemala's rising violence. Gladys Castillo's 28-year-old son was killed two years ago in a late-night shootout in Guatemala City. He drove a taxi. They shot two passengers in the back of his cab and then killed him so there'd be no witness. Guatemala has one of the highest murder rates in the world, and it's gotten even more violent as Mexican drug gangs fight over smuggling routes. Many Guatemalans say cracking down on criminals is the main thing they want from the next president, who will be elected on Sunday. They also want more economic opportunity. Guatemala is one of the poorest countries in the Americas. 50% of people here don't have a steady job. Alvaro Cortesia scrapes by bagging charcoal to sell on the street. With a new president, we need security and jobs. But to get to a point with less crime, you need more opportunities for work. For many, it's a struggle just to put food on the table. Both candidates have promised to address Guatemala's grinding poverty, but they're mainly competing on security. Otto Perez is a retired general. He played a part in the country's civil war, and he's promised to use a mano dura, or a heavy hand against criminals. Manuel Baldison is a rich businessman turned politician. He's in favor of increasing the use of the death penalty. Three of Aura Suruí's daughters were murdered two years ago. Only one issue matters to her in the election. I want a president who really does something with a heavy hand against the criminals, but I don't think that this violence is going to end. It's such desperation that has made security a top issue for Guatemalans looking for action from their next president. But whether a more hardline approach would fuel even more violence is yet to be seen. Adam Rini, Al Jazeera, Guatemala City.